my god. Oh my god. That is so good. That is an explosion of flavor. Oh my gosh, it just keeps coming and coming. This dumpling is amazing. continuing our Vancouver food tour guys and we are in White Rock and this is just along the coast of the Pacific Ocean. It is nighttime. We are going to take you to the most amazing food guys. This is Afghan food. I have to take a pause because Afghan food is amazing. It's composed of rice, meats, breads, chutneys. You know, Indian cuisine has influenced Afghan because they are neighboring countries, guys. So I'm taking you to the hottest Afghan restaurant. But first, we need a cafecito, guys. So um, we are gonna take you to a very popular cafe along the Pacific Ocean in White Rock, guys. So let's go on this Vancouver tour together. Join me. place called crazy cows yeah and it looks so interesting it's like a um, cafe but also they make homemade ice cream and it's crazy delicious they say voted best in white rock check out the cow <laughs> crazy cow they got organic teas oh this is so cute So, wow, this is the first time we're experiencing it. So, yeah, guys, we're gonna get, uh, they have oat milk, so we're gonna get a couple of coffees. And across the street, we found a super unique food stall. I can't wait to show you guys. So let's order some coffees and I'll take you there after. So guys, little Alfonso went to the flower shop next door and guess what he got me? <laughs> Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. ah, this is why I love boys. They treat their mummies right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna have some amazing coffee. <laughs> All right, guys, we got our oat milk latte from the crazy cow and flowers from my only from this beautiful flower shop right here. It looks so nice. Yeah, choco flowers. So let's try the latte. Ooh, a lot of foam. Mmm. Oh, it's smooth. It's beautiful. Silky smooth. Mmm. You know what's gonna pair so well with this coffee? Is these mini donuts, guys. As we were driving here, we noticed this like food stall just off of the ocean. It's pretty cold. Steam was coming out. And then we're like, we went up. What is this? They are serving mini donuts. They're making them from scratch. So this coffee is gonna pair with some mini donuts. Let's go try it, guys. This is so fun. We're in White Rock. And then after this, guys, we're gonna take you to the Afghan kitchen. What a fun night. Follow me. cute this little donut shop is now they have been here for four years they started a little bit more down the pier they've moved here to the middle and you just smell delicious donuts guys so you need to come here and try them and they are super fresh did you guys see how they're getting them made there you go. oh thank you look at these guys Little Udi's mini donuts. They do catering events and parties, guys. So you can even have this on the side of your party. This is cool. We definitely will put the Instagram below. Yeah, okay. Tell them where they're located, though. Yeah, they're located in White Rock, but what would uh, how would I be more detailed about it? Uh, Memorial Plaza in White Rock. Memorial yeah. Plaza in White Rock, White guys. Beach. White Rock Beach. White Rock Beach. This is so unique. Look at this. Fresh hot donuts. You can have them for your weddings. <gasps> 
What a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now the most important is the trying it part. Look at that. Woo, they are hot. Fresh. This is perfect for like a cold night here. And you got coffee. Mmm, they're so soft. You know who's going to love this? Alfonso. Try these donuts. Alfonso's going to love these donuts. Alfonso. Alfonso, these donuts are so good. They were freshly made. You want to try a bite? Yes. Wait, grab your own because I'm eating this one. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Try one. They're sugar coated. I love sugar. You have to blow on it a bit. They're fresh, hot. Big bite. What is that? Hot. Let me blow on it. Hey, take a little bite. Little bite. I know how much you love donuts. These are mini donuts. How good is that? Isn't that so good? Really good, buddy. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Out of ten. Oh, if Alfonso <laughs> says ten out of ten, you guys gotta come here. <laughs> little. <laughs> Little Udi's guys, catering events, parties. Get your bag of donuts, they are so good. Okay, we're gonna take you guys, continue our food tour. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Okay guys, we arrived at the Afghan Kitchen, guys. This is a highly rated restaurant in Surrey. Also guys, this was featured on Food Network channel as a really delicious spot for Afghan food. It's high end and when you step into this restaurant, you are transported into a different world, guys. Let me take you inside. <music> Look how beautiful it is in here. As you can see, it's like you're transported into a different world. They have everything looking so beautiful. Such a nice culture, guys. And as you can see, we got tea in front of me. So this is a uh, saffron tea, guys. It's very special and it's rare, they say on the menu. And look how they present it to you like this. So I'm gonna show you something that I learned in the Moroccan restaurant that I'm pretty sure well, we got four glasses because we have some people here. But you pick it up. Whoop. That's one. Let's see if I can do it again. Oh, wow. I can smell the saffron. Whoop. That's two. And then you got to put it back without spilling. Let's see if I can accomplish this without spilling. Hold on. Okay, we did it. Now you see the tea's all mixed up. And then we're gonna do it again. This smells so good, actually, guys. It's like saffron and cardamom. Ooh, I love it. That smells so good. I feel like there's some citrus in there, too. Okay, let, let's see if we can do it again. Oh, that was a close one. That's one. And you always serve the tea to your loved one. There you go, Alfonso. <laughs> and then let's do it again. Oh, I, was, I wasn't confident on that one. And then we pass it down to the table. <laughs> Woo. Okay, guys, we're going to try the rare saffron tea. Let's salute. <laughs> salute. Salute. <laughs> Let's try it. Ooh, wow, you really taste the saffron. That's really good. It has like a rose taste too. Um, mm, reminds me of like, almost like a little bit of that Persian sense, which I think this cuisine has been influenced by um, Persian food. So let me tell you what we got. 
we got, oh, we got some authentic food. We got the dumplings, mantu. This is a steamed minced beef dumpling topped with split peas, tomato sauce, and yogurt. Super authentic, guys. I can't wait to show you. And who would have thought, like, dumplings in Afghan cuisine? I always thought it was more, like, Chinese. But, again, it's been influenced from Asia, too. So, my mouth's already drooling. Um, and then we got Afghan chicken, guys. This is authentic bone-in chicken cooked for hours in garlic and tomato gravy. I am so excited. It comes with some rice, some chutneys. Um, and then what else did we get? Oh, we got something famous, like the bulani. This is a famous big bread, and um, it's pan-fried stuff with potatoes, herbs, and spices served with Afghan chutney. You see, it's like influence from India. Chutneys, same here. Um, Guys, I'm so starving. I cannot wait to try the food. And guys, this place is so busy. Oh my gosh. Everybody's eating and having such a good time. So I can't wait to show you guys. Whoa, that's cool. How do you eat it? You just cut a piece off? Traditionally, we use our hands to eat it. Yes. Okay, so and then dip piece, it. Dip it and enjoy it. But we have a knife there for you if you want to. Cool. You, you don't want to get your head <laughs> But that would be the best way to enjoy it. Really cut it and enjoy it. Thank you. It's also a street food. This is something that we serve uh, as street vendors in smaller portions. But over here, we knew it was going to be one of the best dishes. Yeah. And it actually is. Almost every single table gets this. Wow. Uh, we also have our chutney. Yeah. Uh, chutney is called the uh, hot sauce in our language. Yeah. This is made with red Thai chili peppers, some bell peppers, and garlic and spices. This is a low-fat Greek yogurt mixed with some of our spices as well. Wow. Some dry mint and fresh mint. Thank you so much. Enjoy it looks well. so good. Enjoy your meat. Make sure you try us tonight. Yes, yes so thank sure. you. <laughs> thank you. It's good to have you. Wow, look at this, guys. Whoa, Bulani. Oh my gosh, this thing is huge. Alfonso, what do you think of this? Does it look huge? It's so big! Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to eat this food! As you can see, right underneath the bulani, there's some Afghan nuggets here. Look at this, guys. Afghan nuggets. Looking amazing, guys. There's some jalapenos. We're gonna pick it up. Look at this. Okay, let's try a bite of this one. That is really good. That is really good. That has so much flavor. It actually tastes like a barbecue flavor onto it. I think they must have cooked the chicken and um, on like the grill and then they fried it. And check out this chutney on the side. This looks like a cream cheese and then some sort of a tomato chutney. I'm gonna put it on. Oh my gosh, guys, this looks so good. Afghan nuggets. Look at the marination. Mm. Oh my gosh, the chutney is so fresh. This food is really good quality. I can taste the freshness. It looks amazing. The service is great. Guys, I'm gonna show you the bulani. Mm. Take a look at this. Hold on, moving some stuff around. Look at this, guys. Whoa, it is huge, huge. Oh my gosh, I've never seen anything like that. I'm gonna pick it up. Oh, it's stuffed with stuff. Look, it's stuffed with potatoes. Potatoes and vegetables. So what you do, this is a famous Afghan street food. So what you do is you rip a piece off and then you dip it in the chutneys. Let's try it with the tomato chutney. Oh my God. Oh my God, I love this food. This Afghan food has so much flavor. This chutney is insane. It's got like a kick of spice. Fresh, fresh, fresh. This restaurant is just bang and popular. I know why, the food is so good. Let's try it with the cream cheese. Look inside of this huge bread, guys. It almost reminds me of a, um, in India, it's like a, it's like a paratha, but filled with potato. Alu paratha. Okay, let's try it with the cream cheese. Whoop. Let's try that. Mm. 
God. Mmm. We got to come back to this place already. I'm so excited. If the starters are this good, I cannot wait for the entrees, guys. We're going to enjoy some saffron tea and enjoy this food. Let me know in the comments below what you think. You can have this and you can just put that place in your Okay, thank you. Whoa, guys, that looks so good. This is the mantu dumplings, guys. This is what I'm talking about. I never thought that the Afghan cuisine had this. Oops. Look at how many dumplings there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. With lentils on the side, this is crazy good. Alrighty, guys, that looks so good. And over here, look at what my mother got. <laughs> this is what, the Afghan chicken? Afghan chicken, look at that rice, potato, kebab. This is what Afghan is known for, the kebabs. Look at this rice too. They're also known for the raisins and nuts, carrots. Oh my gosh. And look at the, um, the plate, it's rotten. It's so pretty. They're giving you the whole dining experience. Okay guys, we're gonna get into this. Look at this dumpling. Ooh, that looks so good. I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna grab some of the lentils. I'm gonna cut it in half for you guys. Let me show you what's inside. Ooh, that is some steamed beef, guys. Oh my gosh. Before I eat this, let me show you this lamb shake. Oh my god, I don't even want to touch it, it's so big! Whoa, look at this! That is a saucy lamb shake. You know on the menu guys, it says that you don't even need a knife. You got rice and potatoes, that is a feast. Okay. My goodness, enjoy. And then, one more dish! Oh my goodness! Your Afghan chicken. Thank you. With some Afghan rice, and that's your bone and thigh with tomato sauce. Thank wow. you. Okay, that is the Afghan chicken, guys. It is saucy, bone-in chicken, and a lot of rice. I can tell the rice looks amazing. Okay, we got a huge Afghan feast right now. We're gonna try the dumpling. This is with minced beef. So delicious looking. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is so good. That is an explosion of flavor. Oh my gosh, it just keeps coming and coming. This dumpling is amazing. The meat is cooked perfectly. So much spice. There's like a homemade cream cheese up top. The lentils are amazing. Mm. You guys, the food is insane here. It was hard to like even get a reservation. So good. Dumplings are like, when I first had it, I was just blown away that there was such thing as dumplings in Afghan cuisine, but again, it's been influenced by neighboring countries, China, India. Okay guys, let's try this last bite. Mmm. Mmm. Oh Amazing food, guys. We have so many dumplings to try. And we're gonna get into the chick the Afghan chicken, guys. It looks so good. All right, guys, getting into the last meal. So we have the famous Afghan rice. I love this mixed with nuts and raisins. And look how fresh this rice is. It's just falling apart. You can see the oils, too. I'm going to go straight in for it because it just looks so tasty. With some cabbage. Mm. Oh, my God. Mm. It's got that, like, Afghan spice to it. It's like cumin. I think there's even turmeric. I don't really taste garlic and ginger like I would in Indian cuisine. But um, cumin for sure. Coriander, turmeric, saffron. Look at this chicken. Oh my god. Mm. What is this gravy? Let's try just the gravy. Ooh. 
Ooh. Oh, wow. It's got a kick of spice. It just hits you in the back of the throat. That's good. Let's see how soft the chicken is. Ooh, it's so soft. You don't even need a knife. Dive it into the gravy. I love saucy things, so let's try it. That is good. Oh, it's a tomato-based gravy. Mm, oh my god. The quality of ingredients here at this kitchen is really, really good. I can taste it. Let's mix the gravy with the rice. It looks like there's some salad too there. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. These are flavors like just blow your world flavors. This food is insane, guys. We have such a great experience here. The service is amazing. The drinks, they tell you each dish too, like where it originated from, how you should eat it, so it's super fun. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys. We're taking you on a Vancouver food tour. It is so diverse here. So hit that subscribe button and um, yeah, we're gonna polish off all this food. All right, guys, we got dessert on the house from the Afghan Kitchen. So thank you, Afghan Kitchen, for providing us with this amazing dessert. And I am with my professional dessert taster, Alfonso. Hello. And he's a professional, guys. So he's going to tell us the truth about this dessert. So this is the famous Tres Leches, guys. Tres meaning three, leches meaning milk. And look, they topped it like with their Afghan, um, what do you call that, pistachio, and then uh, strawberries, chocolate. They got the milk on the side. I'm gonna show you. So this is one of Alfonso's favorite cakes, right, Alfonso? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's drizzle the milk. Ooh, this is condensed milk, Whoa. guys. How am I doing? Am I doing a good job? I will do nothing so. No. <laughs> that looked like a pretty good one. And then we got over here some ice cream, but it's like a sorbet, it's something special. You can see that it's pink topped with some cream and pistachios. Yes. Alfonso, which one do you want to try? I'm gonna try both of them. Both of them? Oh my yes. gosh. Professional both, dessert taster has to try both. To start with this okay, first is the milk. ice cream, he's saying. Okay, let's give this a big, good scoop. He opens his mouth extra wide for ice cream. How is it? What's your professional opinion? I say the usual, the tenny out of the tenny. The tenny out of the tenny, baby. Let me try it. What flavor is it? It's vanilla. Mmm. Vanilla, rose, and pistachios. Again, those flavors that we found in the tea. Okay. This is the Tres Leches, guys. So, one of Alfonso's favorites. You want to go for it? Oh, yeah, go for it. Okay, you, you go for it. I'm going to go for it at the same time. Wow, guys. This is like a wet cake. Have you ever had a wet cake before? Nobody has. Nobody has. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Go yeah. for it, baby. Don't let that fall oh. off the spoon. He likes to take his dessert bites very slow, I've noticed. Like, so slow. How is it? You're giving the 10 out of 10 face, but... What's your professional opinion? 10 out of 10. Mmm, it is a 10 out of 10, guys. We're gonna devour these desserts, they are amazing. Thank you to the Afghan kitchen. This food is insane, guys. You have to come here. Right, Alfonso? Mm -hmm. Come here and hit the subscribe button. <laughs> wow, guys, the food is so good at the Afghan kitchen. What'd you think, Alfonso? Mm -hmm. Amazing guys, I love the experience, the, everyone, everything was so perfect to how they were plated, the food, the service guys. You gotta check out Afghan Kitchen here in Surrey. I'm gonna leave it in the description below. If you are traveling through this city, you gotta come here. Make an effort guys. Anyways, don't forget to like this video, subscribe so we can continue making videos for you guys. And on that note, just keep on dancing.